All right, guys. Hey, we're out and about. Rain stopped. Wind's still blowing. Uh, let's visit the lighthouse. When you get back here in the back, uh, there's a way to drive back here, a little parking area. Right now it's inundated with floodwaters, but we parked on the edge of it. And there's a nice boardwalk that you can go out and, and visit the lighthouse, see what's going on. You got some trails. Uh, they're inundated with water today, but you can see there's trails that goes over to the sound and uh, so just walk out here and just check it out so they got ATVs you can rent down here and uh, so some cool stuff going on Got a beach shuttle that'll bring you down here from the ferry, if you'd like. Michelle, what have they got here? I'm going to show you what kind of different shells. And... So, take one, give one, huh? Cool. This is the visitor center. Uh, it was open earlier today or earlier this week. Uh, everything from the park service has been shut down because of the storm. So let's go in the restroom. See what kind of facilities we've got down here. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. So, nothing special about it, but welcome if you needed something like that. Huh. So here we are at the, I guess this is the apex of the visitor's center. We've got a nice shell. we got some solar panels going on up there to run some stuff. That's cool. So, let's go on out the boardwalk here. We're going out to the lighthouse. Before we go into the lighthouse, we we found this other little area over here that we wanted to check out. Got another boardwalk, and uh, looks like it goes out to the sound. I bet. I bet you could go crabbing right out there on that if it wasn't so bad. Look, of course we're in the shadow of the lighthouse. Hello, Smokey. You checking it out? Huh? Let's go out here and look and see what's out here. They went to all this trouble to make this walkway. What's the hole? These walkways are nice. Keeps you having trudge through the sand. Okay. So this must be where uh, a ferry, the ferry, the people ferry comes in. Got a little resting shelter here. Of course, back out there is the truck where we park.
got a big fine dock out here. Like I said, I think this is where the, the people ferry comes in. It unloads folks. Picnic shelter. I tell you what, I don't know. I guess it's just my bad luck, or maybe it's part of my good luck. Uh, last time I come down here was <clears throat> uh, in 2020. Uh, no, 2021, when everything went crazy and. Uh, my vacation plans got canceled so <clears throat> I changed them to come down here me and Matt and old Garvis Reef my buddy uh, we come down here and uh, it was uh, just like this I mean, there wasn't nobody down here naturally because of everybody was <clears throat> hiding in the houses I guess or whatever but uh, anyway there just wasn't many people down here and uh, so we come down here to do uh, self distance. And this time a storm has come through and uh, got the place to myself again. So. Beautiful place down here. Here's got several boardwalks and a path out to the beach. There's a boardwalk that goes back over that way. Uh, I don't know that we'll explore them all today, but we're going to check some of it out. I guess that's a keeper's house. See the water comes off the gutters, goes there, and I guess that's a cistern. Uh, they probably collected at one time, collected the fresh water to use for obvious purposes. Of course, we've got shutters where we can batten down the hatches during the storm. Of course, none of this stuff is open today because of the the foul weather, but in the 1800 Shackleford Banks across the water in front of you at South Core was one island. The hurricane cut them in two, creating part and in Then that might have closed naturally, but it was proved so useful for navigation that the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers keeps it open through dredging because Barton Inlet remains open. Tidal currents erode the shore and threaten historic structures. During Hurricane Isabel in 2003, high water destroyed the coal shed. We value both natural processes and historic structures. How would you decide? Should we struggle to save the historic light station or let nature run its course? Starting to miss the rain a little bit, guys. We're gonna 
we're gonna grin and bear it for you and for ourselves. There she is. Of course, the lighthouse is closed and has been for some time. It said on the website that the, until further notice, so going in the lighthouse is not an option. As you can see, there's a, I guess it's a huge foundation under here. Some infrastructure in the back door. So stuff going on here. Got some LED lighting out there. Light this thing up. Right, that's full circle. Go over here and see what the, I guess this is the yeah this is the oil house. At one time back in the day I guess. This is where they stored the the fuel uh, that made the lights work. So, I guess. Check into that. It's pretty cool. A few things. Evidently there was a a door to something there. Maybe I don't know. That might have been a metal door at the time. Unless we got fresh deer tracks this morning. Looking around, out right here at the lighthouse. Cape Lookout Lighthouse. Got a little more infrastructure out here. Solar panels. damage back in here. Oh, we got chemical storage, propane and stuff like that. That's probably probably for the operations. Fine folks down here that keep everything going. ATV there. There's some grass mowing going on. Must be the must be the lawnmower shed. So, a little water back in here. A little inundated. Well, guys, I appreciate you hanging out with us. Oh, it's been a blast out here on the island. And uh, I'd encourage you to wait till a pandemic or a hurricane and come down here and spend some time and uh, like I seem to do so uh, appreciate you hacking out with us and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video until next time this is Brian with Cliffside Outfitters y'all have a good day